Hi YouTube, this is Felicia with the Bible Scraps and I am back with another heat collage wax. Well actually, this is not wax paper napkin because in this video I am not using paper napkins. I am using a product that I think it kind of gets neglected in the junk journaling book diary making world because it's considered cheap. And it is cheap <laughs> but I came across a beautiful color and you will see more of this of that scratchy feel curtain we all grew up with the white stuff right we probably still have this hanging in our houses or maybe our grandma do or someone older in our home well you know what you can buy this now and use it but anyway it's a pretty lace design but it's not the high quality stuff it's not the stuff a lot of crafters look for and so I know I have neglected this I find it a lot in white and I don't pay any attention to it because it's so much of it but at a recent estate sale I came across new packages of this in this beautiful salmon peachy color and immediately I thought, you know what, I am going to incorporate this beautiful color and design in my creations. And in this video, we're going to do just that. I have, well, if you saw my wax paper napkin tutorials, it's very similar to that, except I'm not using napkins once again. I'm using this beautiful lace. So this is how it looks if you do absolutely nothing to it. I love how this color pairs with the craft envelopes. But if you want to take it a step further, because foiling, it's really popular right now. Well, this is a great way to not only incorporate foiling and heat collage and with the envelopes, but you can use your scraps. Take a look at this. What you're looking at here is actually, let's see, you know, I am missing one. What you're looking at here is four pockets made from one craft meller. And you see, I have different colors of foil. I love how that looks. The lace provides texture and the foiling, well, it adds that sparkle oh, backwards look at that so pretty now you could find that cheap lace in different colors I I used to pick it up every now and again and I found it in blue pink and there's a whole lot of other colors I'm sure but the salmon is the color I kept just look at that okay this is the piece here Oh, look at this. This came out gorgeous. And this is the one that we will make in this video. And to compare the foiling, I mean, if you did nothing at all, this is pretty. It's a great way to use grandma's old cheap lace. It's a great way to honor your grandma. If she has one of those cheap tablecloths <laughs> you really don't like, well, what a great way to honor her or anyone in your family. This is how I choose to honor the lady of the house of the estate sale I went to. This is one way I choose to honor her is by using something she obviously loved because she had several packages of this lace. Well, this is how I can honor her. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, to get started, you are going to need one of my fave products of all time. It's Heat and Bond. It comes in the red packaging. It's permanent. I will have this linked below. And then you will need, if you want to create a style similar to mine, these large craft mailers. Now, these are thrifted, but I will have similar ones linked below. And then I like to use my custom sandwich. You could click right now in the upper right hand screen to be taken to that tutorial. I've tested out different materials to use 
and came up with this sandwich and it has yet to let me down okay and then what you will need is your cheap you know what let me grab a new package so this is what I'm working with I got this recently from an estate sale you see the packaging there now it says style number 2008 that could be the year I don't know but it's hundred percent polyester and what's different about this particular curtain is never needs ironing I don't know if all of these this type of material comes like that but this is it has a stiffness to it and I have come across similar looking uh, lace in the stores but it it's more flowy this is stiffer you can use the other stuff but just wanted to show that this does states that it never needs ironing keeps that just pressed look has long service life holds its shape okay so oh and this color by the way isn't it gorgeous that's why I couldn't part with this well that's why I purchased it I thought this color this salmon color peachy color is so pretty so I'm cutting off a piece it cuts really easy with scissors my piece it's going to be longer than I need, and that's okay. I can trim it off. So look how pretty this is. It is so pretty. Now, I would not, like a lot of crafters, I wouldn't necessarily, well, I would use this in my junk journals and my naked journals and in my diaries. This, to me, is pretty. To my knowledge, it's on the cheaper side. I could be wrong, but... This is worthy to be used, and especially with this technique. <laughs> okay, so I've cut down a piece of heat and bond already. I always like to work inside my mat. It's important that you open up your flap because it will, it will fuse. Now, we're only going to do one side since these are pockets and you know what my heat and bond I don't have enough to cover down here but that is a okay so you want to place your heat and bond right below the flap fold and my heat and bond is not long enough to cover that area so I'm going to take some of my scrap heat and bond and cut it down I keep all of my scraps because they come in handy not just for doing what I'm doing here but if you guys follow my heat collage series well then you know how much this comes in handy okay so I have all that covered I do have some that some excess we'll cut that off later and then I'm going to take my beautiful salmon colored curtain and oh I cut this way too large just place it over and I will need to trim off then again I'm not I'm going to fold the mat over now you do want to have your envelope you know I'll just fold it over like this because you want to have your envelope flush towards the top just like that now do be mindful if you should have any heat and bond that's outside of your mat, you want to try to avoid that as much as you can. So now I could fold back. I could fold this over. Now my heat machine is set to five. 
but you can actually set it at three I was foiling with my machine which is why it's set to five you want to stick it in okay you do want to let this cool and listen for the tack love that sound and then now if you notice you see some silver well that transferred from my mat because I would used foil you can clean your mat but or what you can do is make different mats for different things alrighty so look at what I did here I was not paying attention okay so I folded my flap over and it stuck to the bottom of my mat and that's because the bottom of the mat is not nonstick I did not consider that so what I'll do is just cut this off like this and later I'll see if I could lift this up or tear as much as I can off so you do want to pay attention to that alrighty now I'm not going to use this side but I can trim off this if I like that's kind of cute Alrighty, so now it's time to clean this up. Now, if you want it to leave the flap, if you guys caught my, my original, my first video using this size envelope, you can keep that flap and use a, a double, double sided non-stick liner. I'll have these linked below and what you would do is lay it like that and fold your flap onto this and that way it will not stick. Okay so when I made these what I did was I took my scraps of foil and just laid it out over the envelope and fused it. What I'm going to do this time is cut this down and we shall apply foil to one of the pockets and then I think I want to keep the rest of them just like this so I can compare them to the ones that have foil. And also when you cut down your pocket you do want to pay attention to where the closure is. I'll go back and trim that off. But let's apply foil to this size pocket because you can cut down. Well, the great thing about using the large envelope, and you know, is that straight? I'm going to cut this one again. I don't think it's straight. But the great thing about using a larger envelope is you can cut it down to different size pockets. So you can get more bang for your buck. Okay, now it's time to choose some foil. And this is some of the foil that I have. I have a mixture of Heidi Swap. I have several rolls by Anna Griffin, but most of my foil came from Create and Craft. They don't sell. I don't think they have foil anymore. I purchased this foil. It's been a couple years. Um, oh, I was so happy a viewer left a comment because back then the gold press and foil had just hit the market and I did a lot of reviews on it. And a viewer left a comment that Create and Craft had foil. And I'm so happy I picked a lot of it up because different companies have come out with different foil machines. As a matter of fact, today Anna Griffin's Glaminator is being debuted on HSN. Okay, you know what? Let's go with, should we try this one? Yeah, let's go with that one. But then again, I want to choose one that will cover the whole envelope. And I want to choose colors that are different 
these are so pretty and I still have to add the stitches of course you guys have seen these already with the stitches but it's pretty woo, woo, woo. that foil and that lace pattern brings it to life okay nope gonna do something totally different this color how about this color okay so this still won't cover the whole thing but we will add another another color now these scissors come from either Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store and they cut out foil very well all scissors do not cut out foil well when you apply your foil down you want to apply the silver side down I know that's weird right when I first started foiling to me that seemed backwards but that's how it transfers and you know let's do this you can save your scraps of foil and this steel is not cut long enough. But that is A-OK -okay because, well, I'll just do this. I could grab my scrap bag, but I'm lazy. So once again, I have my machine set at five. You know, I still probably could have went lower but if it's not broke don't fix it okay so you do want this to cool before you peel back the foil and while that's cooling for those of you who missed my tutorial on how you can upcycle and recycle your album page pockets to make wax paper napkin or Recycle your album pages to make wax paper napkin pockets. Look at all of these pockets using paper napkins that you can pick up from, from my Etsy store. I will be adding new listings real soon, but I just love these. They're real pockets that you can use in your diaries, in your journals, and I love how the napkins pair so well with the album pages. So if you are interested in this video, you can click right now in the upper right hand screen to be taken to it. Okay, so this is cool to the touch. And my foil stuck to the mat, but it's not stuck it comes right off and I'm gonna save this because I can still use that but I'm not gonna worry about the mat right now it's this <laughs> this is so pretty okay now if you want you could leave the liner right on your pocket I've done that before in other creations but if you want to remove it grab a corner what you could have also done was cut your your foil a little bit longer and let some hang over so you could pick it up from it would be easier to grab it I didn't do it here so I'm gonna need to start from a corner and sometimes that might take a minute Let's start with the pink. You guys, you, know, you just missed a ding dong moment. Unfortunately, or for me, fortunately, my camera, I don't know why my camera keeps stopping, but I had it all on the film. Here I am taking a lifetime to peel back the corner of the liner only to realize it was stuck to the mat 
<laughs> I don't recall that happening before. So the mat did all the work for me. <laughs> so this is how it looks. This came out very nice, you guys. This is, I love this particular foil. Now, once again, I got my foil from Create and Craft. I got it super duper cheap, which is why I purchased a lot of it. I had the foresight to know that other companies would come out with their own foil machine. So I stocked up on the foil and it can be pricey like right now today on HSN Anna Griffin she's debuting the Glaminator. I don't know how much the foil is but I'm so happy I stacked up and I got a lot when Joann's put it on clearance as well. The only colors I missed out on on Crate and Craft they had a configuration that had brown in it and I kept missing out on that one. Okay what I want to do is take this scrap of foil and I want to do this area here and take this little scrap of foil should have laid this down first and you know I'm going to have some open spaces towards the bottom but that is a okay and send it through okay so this is cool enough hear that tack and this time the liner did not stick to the mat just peel it back and a little corner I think the liner is still attached to that part, but that's okay. But this is so pretty. So I'm going to keep mine that size. I don't need to add any stitching to this pocket. I'm going to take my circle punch, turn it upside down, and try to center this. Probably going to be off. I always eyeball it. I try not to overthink. Okay. If you double punch, make sure you keep... Oh, this is off. But that's okay because it's so pretty. Look at that. Now, if I really didn't like it, I could cut it right down like that. And do it all over but I'm going to keep this just like this this would be a fun pocket to add on a on a page okay let's come back to these two and you could use different size circles to create your notch now this one is open like that and I need to do something with this but this one opens like that I could trim this side down to make it straight and put my notch here or put my notch here. So let's work with this one. This one also. All right, so it should be, oh, this still seems to be off. I didn't cut it. I didn't cut this right. I'm going to leave well alone alone though because it's well enough for me. All righty. Same thing, create a notch, just like that. And for this one, I can, let's do it this way. I like that. I love this color. I love the lace feel. I love it with the craft color. Okay, now it's time to do a little bit of my sewing machine out. I needed to change my needle. Alrighty, so let's see. Let's stitch this pocket. I'll be stitching along this edge here. And I'm using a machine I picked up at Costco. This one still might be available. See the model information right there. I've done several tutorials on my journal scraps channel and I'm using a zigzag and let's use number five I'm going to start off at a slower speed that's too slow 
and gradually increase speed. I could go faster. And that's not even the fastest speed. Alrighty. And look at that. Now, I could stitch along this side to make it symmetrical, but I'm not. I love how that looks. Okay, let's stitch. Now this one, I have to stitch two sides. I'll do this side first. That was the fastest speed towards the end. So look at this pocket. Once again, I can stitch along this side, but I'm not because I like that handmade look.